All right, it's 749. Good morning, everyone. Of course, we've been uh, tracking what's happening locally, but right now the big breaking weather news has to do with Hurricane Debbie officially making landfall probably about 30 minutes or so. Uh, moving to the north-northeast at 10 miles per hour. Still has 80 mile per hour sustained winds. You can keep up with the latest stats and uh, forecast tracks with the First Alert weather app. So there you can see uh, the outer rain bands are really pretty nasty, coming down very heavily across the state. There's the tornado threat on the eastern side of the this circulation and here's where it's going to go not very far all the way through Saturday Saturday morning might make its way up to uh, North Carolina so this slow motion tropical moisture there's a risk for excessive rainfall in that area excessive rainfall for us well it could uh, be uh, here by late week all connected with the uh, what will be remnants but what we're talking about here locally well, tonight, there could be an isolated, strong, or severe storm that makes its way across the state. So first alert for that uh, certainly would impact travel and any outdoor activities. Of course, once it's past dark, most of us are not doing a whole lot outside. First alert live radar right now uh, scanning quiet. So that will be the trend through a large portion of today. As you can see on first alert futurecast, we go through lunchtime. Nothing happening out there. A few clouds develop. There's a 6 o'clock in the evening. Data still indicating uh, that it is uh, fairly on the tame side. A little breeze this evening. But there you have it late tonight into, uh, you know, the pre-dawn hours could get clipped by a few showers and thunderstorm. That lifts out that little round. There's 8 o'clock in the morning. Not a whole lot happening tomorrow morning. It's tomorrow night. We're giving you another first alert uh, for some heavier rain building in. There you have 2 o'clock in the morning, those downpours, and then exiting by Wednesday morning. Now, as we take a look at the excessive rainfall for that time frame, Tuesday night into Wednesday a.m., again, we're at that level, too. So certainly could be some uh, flooding concerns uh, during that time frame. Right now we're tracking a little bit of uh, that uh, valley fog. Otherwise it is clear outside. This is a live view in stores. Still a little bit of fog you can see way out in the distance in the valley. Temperatures upper 60s, low 70s and it is humid outside so it's going to create a, a hotter temperature for you that feels like in the 90s through this afternoon. But we do get a brief relief from the heat and humidity uh, that is going to be a Wednesday into Thursday. Thursday, as uh, we will finally get a nice little break in that activity uh, going forward. So again, the uh, chance for uh, rain and storms today, it's low, but not uh, zero. And if we do get one that moves in in this very hot, humid atmosphere, it could be quickly uh, turning strong or severe. Uh, a few uh, showers and storms are going to be uh, developing for Tuesday into Wednesday. Look at that, 76 on Wednesday, uh, trending less humid. Then we'll be watching the end of the week into the first part of the weekend potential remnants of Debbie making its way up here. All right, we'll see.